Welcome back. Good to have you with us on this Friday. Grocery stores are not the most popular places nowadays, especially considering the high costs in some of those aisles. But where you live in Canada might actually have an effect on how much you spend on your groceries. CTV News did a survey, unscientific, but nevertheless, of grocery stores across the country, talking to different reporters in different cities to get a sense of what different things cost. And pulling it all together, CTV's Kamal Karamali, who's standing by in our national newsroom in Toronto with more on the study and what was found yeah. and the takeaways. Kamal. Yeah, Todd. So, uh, you know, with uh, these big grocery chains it, under the microscope, uh, we thought we would send reporters out to, to see what differences we can spot based on the city you live in. So it's the exact same grocery list uh, for six different cities going to two of the major chain chains rather in each of these cities. So here are the items that we put forward for the uh, reporters to go out and buy. And because uh, the uh, amount was different, we decided to break it down by per singular kilogram there. And you can see it uh, really varies based on the city you live in. Uh, Regina being the most expensive for those items at 74 bucks. Vancouver at around 73 or just almost $74. So not so far behind. Halifax, Montreal and Toronto in the mid to high $60 range for those seven items and uh, Calgary the cheapest there at uh, $58.87. So uh, once again uh, CTV decided to c uh, conduct this uh, sort of unscientific sampling uh, because uh, you know we've seen grocery chains facing intense scrutiny and many being boycotted. There's been criticisms of shrinkflation, allegations of price fixing and uh, the House of Commons committee also been uh, there has been a committee studying food prices, urging two of the big chains to sign a grocery code of conduct that would uh, introduce more rules between the negotiations between retailers and suppliers, many believing that is the way to reduce food costs. So as you mentioned off the top, not the most popular places to go to. And uh, now we're seeing why and where some of the lesser populate, uh, the popular spots are. Yeah, we know, uh, for example, you know, Loblaw is currently facing a boycott. Uh, what, what are experts saying, uh, Kamal, about why there's this kind of differentiation between different cities, markets in the country? Yeah, so uh, as you mentioned, we took these results to some experts and density seemed to be the first thing that came to mind for some of these experts saying that, look, it looks like the more dense and populated an area, uh, the more competition there is, so the more incentive there is to lower some of those items. Have a listen to what uh, Sylvain Charblois had to say. And we see it in our numbers. Sometimes you'll have the same exact product sold at a different price because at that location, probably uh, demand is, is, is different or demand for both location is are, are, are different. And that's kind of why sometimes you'll see uh, different prices altogether. Yeah, so demand one thing. Also transportation, you'll notice Regina is much more expensive uh, than uh, say Calgary uh, or rather uh, Halifax. And that has to do with uh, the time it takes to, and resources and costs it takes to get uh, those goods to the middle of the prairies. So that's also playing somewhat of a factor in there as well. So um, does the fact that you moved from Vancouver to Toronto <laughs> mean you get to save just a little bit every just month? Just a little, that's actually why I took the, took the job here in Toronto. <laughs> you know, I'm saving money. <laughs> I love it. Okay, talk soon. Thanks for this. You're welcome.